Ladies and gentlemen, the next 10 minutes look to be absolutely entertaining. If they're even half as good as what we saw in the first three quarters, this is going to be a very fun basketball game. Sandy Farron back into the game for shooting and defense. Thomas Russ also back into the game for the Sushi Rockets. Number 32. And Max Kepway back in as Belger. Billy Belger goes to the hole. Oh, Kepway right there. Low percentage shot. Very, very smart. High percentage shot, yes. High, per high percentage shot, beg your pardon. Nice defense there, causing the turnover. That's a dangerous pass. Nice pump fake. I'm going to keep it here. So the lead only 12 now. You know, they have been chipping away. Nice Inside pass. pass. Oh, we got and the Kepway draws the contact. And Kepoy's battling down low. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's not had an easy, <laughs> easy game today. And he's basically well, got three really good game, really good opponents that the Sushi Rockers are just rotating in and out. You've got Lumpy. Yeah, it's hard to Gallon, adapt when you have like three different play styles and defensive like uh, sets that you have to face. You know, and when you don't get any time, like he's in, he's been in the game the whole game, so no break, nothing. Now misses the second free throw. The two members of the James gang, James White and James Steak. Long three, oh, nearly. So Billy Belger getting quality minutes. Oh, and here we go. Set All stolen. Oh. Free and clear to the hole. Setic all the way. 72-63, nine-point ball game. Oh, man. Back to back plays. Zetik again. Seven point ball game. And a timeout by the Sushi Rockets. And the crowd, and the family, and the bench, and the support for four stars really starting to come alive here as the Sushi Rockets, at least for the moment, You know, they, got, they got a little gobsmacked on that one, Ken. Uh, momentum totally on the side of Four Star right now. They have overcome a 29-point deficit to bring it within seven. That's a feat in itself. So, Quite a game right now. And Set it coming up big. Two big steals, two big fast breaks. And, you know, maybe, maybe if your sponsor is actually in the house. Maybe that gives you like a little bit of a karma boost and everything. But former Governor Camacho here right now cheering on his boys. He's loving it. Yep. And the four stars bench yelling D up, D up. Irv Jose back in the game. Long looking to set something up. The noise really starting to disrupt the Sushi Rockets. Two seconds left on the shot clock. So the four stars got to really make sure that there's no interior pass to one of the big men. It's going to have to be a catch and shoot for the Rockets. Stay got it off and he what went a glass. Shot. Basically turning opposite way. 
And Setic answers back with a three. Six point ball game. Stake, shot blocked. Long goes baseline. But we're in the exact same situation again. Ball is going to stay with the Sushi Rockets, but they've only got five seconds on the clock. So they are going to have to rush this. Oh, bad pass. Daryl Lumpkins looked to go no look behind the back. Long not expecting that. Big turnover for the Sushi Rockets, the number one team in the league, mind you, all season undefeated. Next week's championship game on the line nice. as Pick Steak picks Steak. the pocket. Nice recovery by Setic. What a game. <laughs> oh, cow. 74 68. Seven minutes still to play. That's a lot of time. Phillip checking back in the game. He had a big second and third quarter. You know, and we say again, in the first two quarters, the one thing that the Sushi Rockets really established was their defensive communication. These guys talk all the time. They have not done that now. The crowd's really starting to get into their head, it would seem, as Long looking to go ISO gives it up to Stake. Stake turnaround, Jay, and that's wow, good. Nice post. Nice shot in a post by Stake. Defensive mismatch, the much taller Lumpkins on Setic. That's a dangerous mismatch for uh, Sushi Rockets. Setic giving up at least eight inches to Daryl Lumpkins. Oh, a little pass into the post to Kepwe. And here comes Kyle Long. Look at him run. Stake for three, wide open. James Steak. Steak with seven straight points for the Sushi Rockets. Putting the lead back up to 11. Almost a travel. Belgia kicks back out. Setic for three. Wow. Absolutely fearless. Ice in his veins. You know, when these guys get going, I. You know, there, there is something to be said about athletes and adrenaline. And a technical foul called against Setic as he reaching his, he's going to get called for taunting. That was a horrible decision right there. I, you know, they're in such a close game. You, you, you can't make that kind of decision. That's tough. You 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 bring it within eight. And you make a good foul. I mean, you, you don't want uh, Kyle Long to get an easy layup. But you, you've got to have the presence of mind to just leave it at that. Don't give him one extra shot. Yeah. And possession. Huge mental lapse on the part and of And, you, uh, you know, the best it. athletes know that they have to keep their emotions in check, too. But, you know, that aside... Do not take anything away from the Setic brothers and their athletic ability. They, they are taking some absolutely crazy threes and drilling them here later. They're in the having half. a great game. They're having a great game. So Kyle Long goes two for two and has brought the lead back up to nine with Stake heading to the line. And James Stake, who has been the offensive spark plug here halfway through the fourth 10 point lead now stake again and stake again stake he's stake is sizzling yeah i mean he he has been red hot this fourth quarter 
Nice hands by Thomas Russ. Wow. Kyle Long trying to get a little too pretty Intercepted with that. by Lumpkins, back to Long. Thomas Russ, whose name we haven't called in a while. Nice hook shot. Seven foot baseline jumper, beautifully done. 14 point lead. And just like that, the Sushi Rockets reestablish dominance. Yep. The thing about this game, when you get a rebound, you had better secure that rebound, do it quickly, and do it tight, because there are guys flying all over the place. Lots of cherry picking going on. Stake a rare miss here in the fourth quarter. Long working off the screen, a stake. Both team have ample fouls to give. It's a substitution coming back into the game. Number five, Philip for four stars. It's number eight, Mal Wellung. The lead now up to 15 for, for uh, Sushi Rockets. So they brought it all the way down to six. Now 16, 10 more points. The technical, that one technical foul really changing the momentum of this uh, fourth quarter again. Good. Nice hands by Irv Jose. Jose just had a speed burst there and just shot in that lane. And timeout going to be called by four stars. 87-71 with 4.05 left to go. Ken, what do the four stars have to do to regain that momentum? And, you know, I mean, they just turned it on so very quickly. Uh, I think they got to continue with the full court press. Um, a lot of defense. I, you know, most of their points, they score off that transition, the, you know, fast break offense. Um, you know, maybe Setic can hit a couple more threes. I mean, he's been, he's got the, the, He's got the hot hand this fourth quarter, so. I mean, but we're looking at a 16-point deficit here. It's, it's going to be difficult. We got four minutes left. So. But on the, on the other side of the coin, though, Sushi Rockets—they definitely have to secure the rebounds, like you said, and just play it slow, make the open pass. Because you, you know, when the when the defense is double teaming, someone's going to be open somewhere. So you just got to find that opening. You know, give it to Kyle Long. And uh, the hot hand, who is uh, James Stake. Yep. So. As you can Stake see, has nine points in this quarter. Most of them within a span of two minutes. And ball hit the top of the backboard. Nice pass. Beautiful feed from Kyle Long to Rashawn Blas. Rashawn Blas with a nice finish. Phillip with a nice move and a nice follow-up on his miss. And Daryl Lumpkins was yelling to his teammates. He said, watch for the back cut. Watch for the back cut. Jose, teardrop shot in the lane, and it's good. A beautiful runner right there by Jose. Nice touch. Oh, nice behind the back by Phillip. Good hands by Lumpkins. Belger causing contact there. Blas will go to the line. Shoot two. 
91-73, your score. And in a blink of an eye, it went from 6 to 19 down. Well, that's what you're going to get. When you, you, know, you bring Rashawn Blas into the game, you're going to get quality minutes, you're going to get good rebounding, and you're going to get someone who knows how to score and get to the line. Oh, nice finish by Phillip. Speaking of which, <laughs> you know, the Sushi Rockets, are they, they're just very consistent, you know. They know what they need to do. And Phillip's got like a million different ways to score. Nice pass. Kyle Long with a nice finish. Good look by uh, James Stake right there. So nice roll reversal by Long, who normally feeds Stake. So Stake playing the part of distributor. Phillip again, teardrop shot. Two minutes left. He is looking to score every time he goes into the game. You know what the Celtic brothers do downtown? Phillip does when he goes into the lane. Three-point shot. Kyle Long. That guy is really good. Phillip again. Left hand this time. Oh, wow. Somebody put a Man. body on that guy. Yeah. Phillip with an easy six points this quarter. You know, the approach may be unorthodox, but it works. Nice pass by Stake. One second left to go. 24 second clock violation. 120 left to go and Stake out of the game will take a very well deserved breather after he brought his team back. James White back into the game as. <laughs> what a shot by Mal Wellen. Nice finish. 60 seconds left in this game. You know, four stars not going away. Long making the extra passage to uh, Blas. Phillip now from downtown. And Lumpkins points. that time doing a really good job of boxing off, boxing out Max Kepwe. Wow, long is fast. White double team. Belger takes the ball right away from James White. Billy Belger pass to Kepwe. Kepwe. And White comes flying in for the rebound. Good recovery by James White. Oh, little chipper ball action there. And timeout called by four stars. And that was some quality defense there by the gentlemen in the black jerseys. 99-81, can Sushi Rockets crack 100 before the end of the game? 26 seconds left to go. The outcome pretty much determined at this point with an 18. Sushi Rocket, or, uh, the four star made a great run. Um, cut the lead to as much as six. They were down as much as 29. So they can't hang their heads. I, you know, they played a great game and they had a good season, you know. Yep, and they were highly entertaining. And the crowd here is certainly appreciative of that. Yeah, but we can't deny the the skill level of the Sushi Rockets. They have so many threats. They're just good from wherever, and they play really well as a team. Yeah. They execute like at such a uh, consistent level, you know, and I think that's pretty important. Yeah, yeah. They, they just really have no flaws. Yeah. They take all five starters out, bring five new fresh guys in. You know, it's like having a first team. You know, yeah. They don't have a first, uh, first squad and a second squad and everything. All of these guys are all stars, you know, from high school, from village leagues, from, you know, semi-pro league, just like the one we're in now. Long wisely commanding his team, telling them, hey guys, just, you know, let's just finish the game. Yeah. 
And George with the contact. Blocking foul. 20 seconds exactly to go 99-81. These Sushi Rockets will advance to next week's championship game on the day before Mother's Day. Come on out. Get good parking. We will be at the Phoenix Center. Tip off at 7 p.m. Versus the Guam Auto Spot Phoenix Suns. Yep. Somewhat of a home court advantage for the Suns. Oh. As Kyle Long, way short. Yeah. Guess that explains why he passed like every other layup in the past this past quarter. Oh, and he hits and, the second one. Nice. And there's Long, and Long has made it a hundred point ball game. George. And regardless of the score, uh, four star still playing tenacious defense from start to finish. Nice recovery by Long. Nice ball movement. James White, Long J, and that's good. And at the buzzer, James White makes the final score. Sushi Rockets 102. Four stars, 83. Sushi Rockets will see you next week in the championship game. But in a game that was basically a blowout in the first six minutes, and then Canada got really, really interesting. Yeah, the, you know, four star, bringing it within six, but a couple of mental lapses in the fourth quarter, and Sushi Rockets were able to to regain that momentum and bring the lead to that 102-83 score that we see. All right. And as these two teams congratulate each other, you can see the mutual respect from the four stars in Sushi Rockets. So with that said, we are going to take a break, and then we will be back for our post-game show. Stay tuned. We are back with final thoughts right after this.